Are you here because you want to invest in the stock market and make some extra cash but have no idea how to actually do that? Well then this video is for you. Welcome or welcome back to Skill Sanctum. I'm Zach Isaac, also known as Vanilla Chief. And today we're gonna to be talking about how to actually buy and sell stocks online. In the last video, we discussed what exactly the stock market was and how people use it to make money. But now in this video, we're gonna go over the practical process of stock trading online. You may be someone like me who not too long ago asked questions like, where do you even go to trade stocks? And how do people actually invest in the stock market? Where do you go to do that? And how does that process actually work? Well, after learning how to do that myself, I wanted to make a video specifically tailored to answering those questions so that other people can benefit from what I've learned. So let's not beat around the bush. Let's go ahead and grab a computer and jump right in. All right, so there's actually a lot of websites and apps that you can use to trade stocks and invest in the stock market. There's Charles Schwab, there's Robin Hood. The one that I'm using and the one that we'll be taking a look at in this video is called E-Trade. And all these apps and websites are known as online brokerages, basically just places you can go online to invest in the stock market. I started using Charles Schwab. It was just really confusing and I wasn't really getting anywhere with it. So I kind of gave up on that and then moved to E-Trade and I actually like E-Trade a lot better. It's a lot easier to use. And the greatest thing about it is it's basically free. The only reason why I say it's not free is because I've traded 30 plus stocks on it so far and it's only cost me about 10 cents. So it's basically free. It's when you get into the advanced stuff like trading options and beyond that, that where it starts charging you more money. If you're just doing modest stock trading, then E-Trade is a good place to start. E-Trade has an app like most online brokerages and you can trade stocks on that app, but the best place to do trading is on the actual website because there's a lot of stuff that you can do on the website that you can't do on the app. So I recommend using the website. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is look up etrade.com and then you're gonna want to go to the website and then you want to start an account. I already started my account so I can't show you that whole process but basically you just hit start account and it'll take you through the process. You'll go through a bunch of different steps. It'll ask you a bunch of different questions. I think it asks for your social security number, your tax information, eventually it'll ask you for your bank information and it's gonna ask you some questions and you're not gonna really know what the answer is. Like it asked me a lot of questions I didn't know how to answer it. It was asking me my experience in the stock market and I had zero experience. So a lot of stuff I just put other, no experience, some stuff I just put random answers. So don't let that part freak you out if it's asking you a bunch of questions that you don't understand. Just fill them out the best you can and you'll get through it eventually. It will ask you what kind of account you wanna open in E-Trade. I started with a Roth IRA, which I haven't done much with. If you're wanting to do just basic stock trading, then do individual brokerage account. And that's just like a basic account for trading. So when it asks you that question, what kind of account you want to start, just do individual brokerage. And once you set up your account, get everything done, uh, you will come to this page and this will be your home page every time you log into E-Trade. But before you start trading, you have to add an external bank account. So whatever bank account you wanna to use to put money into the stock market, you need to connect that bank account. So there's lots of ways to do it. The simple way is just to scroll down to the bottom and then you can go to transfer money right here and you can select transfer from and then come down to add account and then follow those steps to adding your account, putting your bank information, all of that. It will take a couple days for this process to go through because they have to verify your bank account. So what they'll do is they'll send you a couple cents 
to your actual bank account it could be like two cents 24 cents and then when they send that money into your bank account a few days later you have to come back to your e-trade website and this is i think this is one thing that you can't do with the app you have to do it on a computer you come back to the website and then you'll verify your account which i think there was a button up at the top that you can click to verify your account so basically you click verify and then you enter the amount of cents that they put in your bank account and then i think it took like a day or two afterwards or maybe it was immediate i can't remember then your bank account will be verified and then you can start transferring money from your bank account into your e-trade account so once you have your bank account verified and you want to transfer money from your bank account to your e-trade account you go to your transfer money option transfer from select your external funding account and then you go to transfer to and select the account e-trade account that you want to transfer that money to and then the amount that you want to be transferred from your bank account to your e-trade account it's not immediate it will take a couple days for the transfer to actually finally go through but once it goes through then you're good to start investing all right so now let's learn how to look up companies that you want to buy shares in and how to invest in those companies and make a profit on those companies all right so now let's figure out what company we actually want to invest in what stock we want to trade so let's use american airlines for example each company or stock has what they call a ticker symbol which is basically just a company simplified into a small group of letters at&t is just t united airlines is ual Amazon has their own ticker symbol. Each company on the stock market has their own ticker symbol. So the more you can memorize those ticker symbols, the easier it may be to look those companies up quickly. But if you don't know the ticker symbol, that's perfectly fine. So by using American Airlines, as an example, we're gonna go to the symbol search bar, and then we're going to start typing in American Airlines, there it is. AAL American Airlines so once you click on that it'll bring you to the screen and this is everything about American Airlines as a stock in the market there's gonna be a lot of information here uh, when you're just starting out you don't really need to know every little bit of detailed information uh, you just need to know the basics if you want to know the latest headlines and news about your um, company that you're trying to invest in you can look at the latest headlines right here and this will tell you news about your company whether it looks like the value is going to go up the value is going to go down stuff like that so you kind of know what to um, look out for okay so now here we are at American Airlines so I'm going to select buy then you're going to come up to this screen and then you're going to select the quantity of shares that you want to buy. As you can see, it's about $11 a share right now. I'm just doing this as a test, so I'm gonna say I'm gonna buy one share. So I'm gonna put one in the quantity and then price type. These are different settings you can do when you buy shares. I always do limit because the stock market is constantly going up and down all throughout the day. So what the limit option does is, okay, no matter what happens, I don't want to spend any more than this amount of money on this stock. So if that stock happens to go above that amount that you want to spend, then it's not going to execute the order. So that way you don't spend more money than you actually want to spend. So I'm going to limit the price as 11.20 per share. And right now it says it's 11.16 per share. So that shouldn't be a problem. After you get the quantity you want, uh, the price you want, then you're going to go to preview and then you'll come to this and it basically lets you review everything you just put in and now if you want to confirm that order you're just going to hit place order and then there you go and then it'll say your order was successfully entered during market hours so the stock market actually is closed at certain times closed on the weekends sometimes it's closed on 
holidays like Memorial Day or closes early. I believe it's from 8 o'clock in the morning to 3 o'clock in the afternoon. If you trade outside of those times, basically it'll say your order was put in the system but it can't be executed until the stock market is open again and i just got a message on my phone saying that my action of buying one share of american airlines was executed at 11.165 dollars per share i don't know if you can see that but that's the message that just came up so you'll typically be alerted when your order is executed. Okay, now let's say that you want to sell some shares. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to portfolios. If you wanna sell a specific stock that you know you already have, you can look up your symbol, but I think it's easier just to go to portfolios. So now here we are at our portfolio. So just as a test, we're gonna sell the share of American Airlines that we just bought. So what I'm gonna do is click on this arrow of American Airlines and it'll show me the shares that I have purchased by the date that I may want to sell. I bought one share of American Airlines on May 22nd and I'm up $1.41 in the green. So I'm just gonna go ahead and sell this just to show you how selling shares works so let's go ahead and click sell okay now it's going to bring you to this page and as you can see it's selling for about eleven dollars and seventeen cents so it basically works the same way as buying shares you just want to enter the quantity of shares that you want to sell and then the price type as well which i do limit on this as well and basically it's the same thing as buying shares. The only difference is that instead of saying, I don't wanna spend any more money than this when I'm buying shares, you're basically saying, I don't wanna lose any more money than this when selling this share. If the price drops beneath the price that I bought it for, then I don't wanna sell it. So I bought it at $11.16 per share, so that's the price that I want to put in the limit option, so that way we don't lose any money. When you've got that done, then you're gonna go to preview, and then everything looks good, and you're gonna hit place order. And there you go. Same way as buying shares, just the opposite. And I just got the message that it has been executed so there you go so we bought a share of american airlines and we sold a share of american airlines it's smart to not invest in companies that you don't know much about don't invest in companies just because someone else tells you to or just because the news is telling you to invest in it invest in a company that you believe in that you want to invest in that you know about and that you trust that you believe that the value of their company is gonna go up well there you have it, everyone i hope this video helped you and hopefully if you know what you're doing helped you gain a little extra spending money or maybe even a lot of extra spending money if you have any questions complaints videos suggestions opinions whether it be a good one or a bad one hopefully a good one the comment section is open to you so don't be afraid to leave one down there i have the previous video on what the stock market is and how the stock market works linked in the description below so make sure you check out that as well i hope you have a blessed day thank you for watching and you'll see me in the next one